On this blurbs module, we can change the purple background on the circle, we can change the icon, text color, and then we have this subtle underline. We can also change the image to a more appropriate image for you. Let's have a look. So first, we can change the text at the top there, we can change to a link, and we can use a different icon. We've got a speech bubble there, let's use the clock icon, and let's go a bit further down. Nothing further there, let's switch to design. Then we've got a color, this is a circle color, let's change that to our preferred color. I'm just going to grab a mint green here and then enter it there and let's go further you can use font size you can adjust these things header color let's go for a darker color on the header dark green and let's do that there we go and the body text we'll just leave that the same you can easily change that if you want one more tab to look at let's see if there's anything in here nothing special so we can save an update or just before we do that with regards to the image you can see the image is 320 by 320 pixels make sure that you use exactly the same size uh, crunch the image beforehand and make sure that the, uh, whoever's in the image will fit into the circle assuming that you use people of course you can use something else if you want uh, so let's update then we can reload and there we go you can see the icons changed the circle has changed but what hasn't changed is the underline for that we need to go to the custom css which is this one you want to look for the blurb name circular impact hover blurb and you can see there's a background color here let's just go with a dark green as well so we're going to update it over here and then just copy this rule and then paste it straight into the page specific css let's do that then hit the save button update now we can reload and then the underline should be a green color as you can see that's how you update this blurb thanks for watching